Hi, Nancy Roast. Um, this is my husband, William, and my son, Chad. We own Courtright Cattle. We had two tie stall farms, and in 1994, we built this free stall. We're located in the town of Courtright in Bloomville, New York. We have a thousand acres, and we milk 840 cows. Hi, I'm Kyle Buell with the Delaware County Soil and Water Conservation District um, technician um, here at the here at the Corrin Cattle Farm. Um, I was the uh, construction oversight on a lot of the projects installed here. Today, Kyle and the Bose family will show us around the farm and we'll explore some of the projects they've worked to implement over the last couple of years with the help from the district and the USC. We got started with soil and water because being close to CAFO. So then they approached us. We had to make a nutrient management plan, and that all tied into the pit, I guess. We couldn't afford the um, to bring our earth pit to code. So with the soil and water, we came up with a program on how to build this facility and our fencing out of our streams with the planting of trees. In 2019, the Boast installed a new manure storage through a funding program with NRCS that the USC administers. This facility holds enough manure for the farm to winter over and has relieved the Boasts from applying manure on their fields in the winter when valuable nutrients can be lost. And this spring, Chad is very excited. He got to spread right onto the fields, right when he wanted to, right when it was important. Put the manure on just before early spring on the hay ground really brings on the first cup instead of buying fertilizer. In addition to the manure storage project, the boasts were also able to install a 10.68 acre riparian buffer, two stream crossings, a livestock watering system with spring development, and just over 4,600 linear feet of pasture fencing. All components of this portion of the project were crucial for the complete protection of the hydrologically sensitive land that runs along Courtright Creek. I have to tell you, the one thing that I have learned in this whole process of, you know, it was important to do this, the um, fencing and the tree planting in order to get our reverse storage facility. And I thought it was about fencing out cows. I thought that's all we were But I learned that the trees, the buffer areas, helped the loop. I was impressed with that because I didn't understand why we had to. I said the animals cannot possibly make that much loops. But it is the trees that help filter that. And if I can continue to farm, because the Susquehanna is better, the Chesapeake Bay is better, then fence out my cricks. I want to continue to farm. Future of poor right cattle starts here with buffers. In addition to the manure storage and riparian buffer project, the Boast family started planting cover crops in the fall of 2019 and have continued this year because they understand the soil health benefits the crop has for their farm now and for future generations. did 94 acres of cover crop this year and we drilled it in, got the corn off early and this year we see a big um, cover crops. After nearly eight years of working with the Delaware County Soil and Water Conservation District, the Boast family looks forward not only to continuing and growing the relationship between the family and the district, but also promoting their relationship within their local community. We did talk to our neighbors after they dealt with soil and water, and we got questions answered that maybe we didn't necessarily want to ask you. We got an honest had, answer from our neighboring farmer, you know. And then our neighboring farmer came and asked yes, us questions did. about because now he's doing his manure storage and he came and asked us a bunch of questions and you guys are now doing that project so soil and water's got a good reputation around here.